Okay. So we have done with the first uh, unit revision in the last class. So now we start with the second unit. So in the second unit, we'll be cover. Uh, we'll, you already seen it, what are there covered in the second unit? That is relational model, relational model concepts, relational model constraints, relational uh, relational database schema, update operation transaction, and dealing with the constraint violation, relational algebra like union, binary relation operations additional relation operations, aggregate, grouping, etc. Examples of queries in relational algebra, mapping concepts, conceptual design in dual logical design, relational database design using ER2 or relational mapping, then SQL data definition in data types, specifying constraints in SQL, retrieval queries in SQL, insert, delete, and update statements in SQL, addition features in SQL. So relational model, so what is a relational model? Concept, the relational model represents a database as a collection of relation. A relation is a mathematical concept based on the on the ideas of sets. The model was first proposed by Dr. E.F. Ford of IBM Research in 1970 in the following paper. A relational model for large uh, shared data banks, communication of the ECM, June 1970. The above paper caused a major revolution in the field of database management and earned and earned Dr. C. O. D. the converted and earned award. So then we can just see this is the uh, table or the relations for a company database. Student is one time, one relation. Course is another uh, relation. Section is another relation. Grade point is another relation. Prerequisite is another relation. Then students. So in student table, we enter the values, Smith and Brown. So in the same way, courses, uh, introduction to computer science, data structure, discrete mathematics, database. Then the section, 85, 92, 102, 112, 119, 135. Then grade report, 17, 8, all those. Then prerequisites, uh, course number. So all these are the uh, company database. Then informal definition, informally, a relation looks like a table of values. A relation typically contains uh, a set of rows. The data elements in each row represent certain facts that corresponds to a real world entity or a relation. Uh, in the informal model, rows are called tuples. Each column has a, a column header that gives an indication of the meaning of the data items in that column. Uh, in the informal model, the column header is called an attribute names or uh, just attributes. Examples of relation. So this is what the example of relation. Student is a relation. Name of the uh, student is a uh, relation is a student. And the column names are the attributes, name, SSN, phone number, address, office, phone number, age, and GPA. These are all the attributes. Then the tuples, Benjamin. Uh, Dick, Rohan, Barber, all these are the uh, tuples in the student. That is the attributes and the tuples of the relation. Then informal definition, this key of a relation. Each row has a, has a value of a data item or a set of uh, items that uniquely identifies that rows in the table called as a key. In the student table, SSN is the key. Some uh, uh, sometimes row ID or sequential numbers are assigned as a keys to identify the rows in a table called artificial or a surrogate key. A schema or a description of the relation denoted by R, A1, A2, etc. Then R is the name of the relation. The attributes of the relation are A1, A2, etc. AN. Examples for the uh, uh, formal definition or example for the relation schema is let us take customer. So in that customer is a relation name and customer ID, customer name, address and phone number or the columns, customer ID, customer name, address and the phone number or the columns. Then customer is a relation name defined over the four attributes as customer ID, customer name, attributes and the phone number. Each attribute has a domain or a set of valid values. For example, the domain of customer ID is six digit number. So the tuple in the tuple is an ordered set of values enclosed in the angle brackets. Each value is derived from an attribute that is domain. A row in the customer relation is a four tuple and could consist of four values for each. So something this is what we can see the example for the 
customer uh, table that is first one is a customer id then what is the name of the customer john smith is a customer name and the address of the uh, john smith and the name uh, the phone number this is a four tuple and has a four values you can see this is a uh, one tuple where we have a four values uh, each a tuple in the customer relation a relation is a set of each tuple, each row then what is a domain a domain has a logical definition example usa phone number or the set of 10 digit phone number valid in usa a domain also has a data type or a format defined for it the usa phone number may have a format where each d is a decimal digit dates have a various format such as year month date uh, formatted as as that particular thing the attribute names name this uh, designates the role played by a domain in the relation used to interpret the meaning of the data elements corresponding to that attributes example the domain date may be used to define two attributes named invoice date payment date with the different meanings a relation state is a subset of the cartesian product of the domain of its attribute each domain contain the set of all possible values the attributes can take example attribute customer name is defined over the domain of character strings of maximum length 25 then that's what here we can see the domain is a domain of the customer name is a where care 25 why the where care so uh, each of your names will be of different size one student may have four one student may have three uh, characters in their name one student may have 10 characters so it means a variable it is not fixed so all your names are not only five digits, five letters it is changing so that's the reason we uh, we have a variable as a uh, variable 25 uh, the role the uh, role these strings play the customer relation is that the name of the customer formal definition formally uh, r is a1 a2 etc an then r of r is a subset of domain a1 domain a2 etc domain an then r is a1 a2 etc an is a schema of relation r is name of the relation a1 a2 an are the attributes of the relation then uh, r of r specify the state a value or a population of the relation r this is the set of a uh, tuples that is a rows r is a t1 t2 etc tn where each ti is in a tuple ti v1 v2 etc vn where each vj elements of a day d of a j so let r1 r of a1 a to be a relation schema then let domain of a1 equals to 0 comma 1 let domain of a2 equal to abc then domain of a1 cross product domain a2 is possible combinations where 0a 0b all these are the possible combinations of the domain of a1 and a2 so that's what we can see 0a 0b 0c then 1a 1b 1c this is what is called as a relational schema or a uh, formal definition then the relation state r of r is a subset of domain of a1 cross product domain of a2 for example could be a 0a so like this for example r of r is a relation of r could be 0a 0b 1c this is a one possible state a population or extension r of a relation r defined over a1 and a2 if it has three tup three to two, two tuples 0a 0b 1c so then definition uh, how do we define just uh, summarizing uh, the formal and informal definitions terms which we use in the relational algebra so informally we call it as a table but here in the uh, definitions we call it as a relation then informally we call it as a column header and formally we call it as a attribute then all possible column values is a domain then the row is what tuple then table definition schema of relation then populated table state of the relation this is what is called as a informal and formal terms for example so we can see here uh, this is a student this is a relation name 
then attributes what are the attributes your name ssn phone number address office phone number age and gpa this is what is called as a student then tuples these are the uh, tuples then informally we call it as a table informal then the formal terms is relation then the column or the attributes row or a tuple values in the column or, or a domain table definition schema of a relation then populated table and the extinction there are four or characteristics of the relation this, that is ordering of a tuples in the relation ordering of attributes in the relation schema are then the values and null and values and nulls in the tuple interpretation or meaning of the relation are characteristics of the relation ordering of the tuples in the relation are the tuples are not considered to be ordered even though they appear to be in the tabular form ordering of the attributes in the relation schema are and the value of and of the value within the each tuple we will consider the attributes in r a1 a2 etc an and the values in t1 v1 v2 etc to be ordered so this is what uh, characteristics of a relation so then you know, some state uh, of the uh, table so what is a state so today may be uh, five people in the table student table tomorrow i may add 10 people so like this keeps changing the state so that's what here the order does not matter. I may say first I will enter your USN, then I will enter your name. It's okay. The order is not required that always your USN should be first, then your name. Any order. But it will be in the format of uh, table. Next is values and the null, nulls in the tuple. All values are considered to be automatic, that is individual. So each value in a tuple must be from the domain of the attributes of that column. If tuple T is V1, V2, etc., V1 is a tuple row in the relational state R of R, then A1, etc., are the values and the nulls in the tuples. Then each VI must be a value from a domain AI. A special value, a special null value is used to represent values that are unknown or inapplicable to certain tuples. So the interpretation meaning of the relation notation we refer to the component of the value p coupled t by t by t of t of ai or t dot ai this is the value of uh, vi of attribute v a for a tuple t similarly uh, t equal to au av aw refers to the sub tuple of t containing the values of attributes a u so this is T is what tuple. What is A U A B A three? These are the attributes. So what 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 does this interpret? We refer to the components. What are the values present in the table? So then alternative uh, rep, uh, rep interpretation of the relation schema is represented as so integrity constraints. So what do we mean by integrity constraints? We know what is primary key. We know what is uh, foreign key. So in the same way, uh, constraints are conditions that must hold on all the valid states. So whatever constraints is there, I cannot say I will apply only for one row this constraint. Second row I will not apply. No, it is not like that. If you have a table, it should be applied for everything. That is what is called as a relational integrity constraints. So there are three main types of constraints in the relational model. So there is a key constraint, entity integrity constraint then referential integrity constraints. Another implicit constraint in the domain constraint, every value in the tuple must be from the domain of its attributes. So this is what is a uh, integrity constraints. Then key constraint, super key of R is a set of attributes SK of R with the following condition. No two tuples in any valid relations relational state r of r will have the same value of for sk that is for any distinct tuples t1 and t2 in r of r t1 s should not have a same values in t2 so what is t1 t1 is one row suppose if i say uh, uh, rashmi is having her values in the table there should not be one more value one more row for rashmi that's what here t1 should not be equal to t2 so now rashmi name is there 
again one more name with rashmi should not be there that's what uh, the row should not have the same thing now rashmi will be having some us and the same us and should not be repeated that's what is a super key of r this condition must hold in any valid state so key of r a minimal super key that is a key is a super key k such that removal of any attributes from k results in a set of attributes that is not a super key for example consider the relational consider the car relation schema car state uh, register number serial number make model and year so then car has two keys key one state and region key two serial number both are also super keys of r super keys of car serial number and make is a super key but not a key in general any key is a super key but not vice versa is any set of attributes that includes a key in a super key a minimal super key is also a key in a relation has several candidate keys one is chosen arbitrary but to be a primary key the primary key attributes are underlined example consider the car relation schema that is car state register number serial number make model and year we choose serial number as a primary key the primary key value is used to uniquely identify each tuples in the relation provides the tuple identity also used to reference the tuples from other tuples general rules choose as primary key the smallest of the candidate keys in terms of size not always possible not, not always applicable choose choice is sometimes a subjective let us take one small example for a car car table uh, with two candidate keys that is the license number is chosen as a uh, always we choose it as a primary key so in this in this table we can see car license number engine serial number make model and year that's what a car car relation with two candidate keys that is license number and engine serial number this is what a license number and this is a engine serial number then a relational database a relational database schema a set s of relation schema that belongs to the same database s is the name of the whole database schema s is equals to r1 r2 r3 then r1 r2 r3 are the names of the individual a relation schema with the same, with the database s a company uh, database schema that is company uh, database schema with six uh, relation schema that is employee first name middle name last name ssn birth date address sex salary super ssn and d number and department d name d number manager ssn manager start date department location d number and d location project a project name project number p location and d number works on essn project number and hours a dependent essn dependent name sex birth date and salary this is what is called as a company database schema entity integrity entity integrity the primary key attributes pk of each relation schema r in s cannot have null values in any tuple of r of r this is because primary key value are used to identify the individual tuples that is primary key not equal to null for any tuple t in r if pk has a several attributes null is not allowed in any of these attributes that is what the entity integrity the referential integrity a constraint involving two relations the previous constraints involve a single relation used to specify a relationship among tuples in a two relation the referencing relation and the referenced relation a tuples in the referencing relation are have attributes that is a foreign key so we have a foreign key attributes that refers to the primary key attributes pk of uh, reference relation r if tuple t1 in r1 is set to reference a tuple t2 in r2 if t1 foreign key equal to t2 primary key a referential integrity constraint can be displayed in the relational database schema as a directed arc a direct arc from the r1.fk to r2 so referential integrity or 
uh, foreign key constraint statement of the constraint the value in the foreign key column uh, foreign key of the referencing relation r1 can be either first one a value of an existing primary key value of a corresponding primary key pk in a referenced relation r2 null in case the foreign key in r1 should not be part of its own primary key so displaying a relational database schema and its constraints each relation schema can be displayed as a row of attributes name the name of the relation is written above the attribute names the primary key attributes will be underlined a foreign key referential integrity constraint is displayed as a direct arc from the foreign key attributes to the reference table can also point to the primary key of the reference relation of the clarity so next a company relational schema diagram so we can see here in this a uh, diagram is so how the referential integrity constraints is been done so in this uh, company database how many relations we have we have a employees one relation department is another relation department location is another relation project is another location another uh, uh, relation work zone is another relation dependent is another relation then employee um, so we can see in employee table we have a ssn as a uh, employee uh, first a social security number for the employee in the same way department that is d number then department location d number and a d location then project p number and the uh, works on essn p number and dependent essn and the department name so we can see here the underlining is called as a primary keys and foreign keys so now uh, ssn and a super ssn super ssn is a foreign key so self referenced table self referenced so now we have a uh, what we call sometimes we call it as a ref, um, what is that is called a recursive function so recursive function is what function calling itself same way here in the employee table employee is also a employee in the in the employee table plus he is also a manager somewhere so that is what is called as a super assistant then the department department name department number manager ssn manager started that is what is a department department location a d number and d location then project p name p number p location and d number works on essn a project number and works on dependents essn dependent name sex birth date and relation this is what is called as a company database and referential integrity constraints for the company database other types of constraint semantic uh, integrity constraint based on application application semantics cannot and cannot be expressed by the model per semantics example the maximum number of hours per employee for all projects he or she works on is 56 hours per week a constraint specification language may have to be used to express this SQL 99 allows trigger and assertion to express for some of these populated database. Each relation will have many tuples in its current relation state. A relational database state is a union of all the individual relation state. Whenever the database is changed, a new state arises. Basic operations for changing the database: insert a new tuple in a relation, delete. an existing tuple from the relation modify an attributes of the existing tuple <coughs> so we can see here how the uh, database company database uh, state is so we can see how many values are there in the employee uh, table so or employee relation john franklin alika jennifer ramesh joy ahmed and james so james these are all the employees here the same way project product x y z computerization reorganization and new benefits this these are the things in the project the same way department research administration headquarter that is what the department is then department location d number and d location then works on so that's what here the works on then the dependents over all the dependent that is essn dependent name uh, what sex birth date and relationship so these are the table states so i now depart uh, dependent location 1 4 5 are the dependent d department numbers so now you can see 5 is what research department 
So who is the he he head of the particular research? This is his USN, uh, that is his manager social security number. So in the same way, when did he, he joined as a, a head? So then the administrator core, then manager assistant and manager started. Then headquarter, so manager assistant and manager started. The same way, employee, first name, middle name, last name, uh, social security number, birth date, address, whether male or a female, then the salary, super assistant, then D number. Then the department location, D number and the D location. Then works on, E assistant, project number and works on. Then project, these are the projects. Dependents, E assistant, dependent name, whether male or a female, birth date and the relationship with the employee. So this is a, a company database. Then update operation on the relations. So insert a tuple, delete a tuple, modify a tuple. Integrity constraint should not be violated by the update operation. So several update operation may have to be grouped together. Updates may propagate to cause other update automatically. This may be necessary to maintain a integrity constraint. Update operation on the relation in case of integrity violation, several actions can be taken. Cancel the uh, operation that causes the violation restrict or reject op option perform the operation but inform the user of the violation trigger additional updates so the violation is correct cascade option set null option execute a user specified uh, error correction routine possible violation for each operation that is insert may violate any of the constraints that is domain constraint key constraint referential integrity constraints and entity integrity so what is domain constraint is if one of the attribute values provide, provided for the new tuple is not of the specified attribute domain. Key constraints, if the value of the key, can, key attribute in the new tuple already exists in another tuple in the relation. Then referential integrity, if a foreign key value in the new tuple refers a primary key value that does not exist in the reference referenced relation. Entity integrity, if the primary key value is null in the new tuple. So if we can see here, this, the, these are four examples where the insert uh, example, where in the first insert, it place of uh, primary key. So here in this table, primary key is a, a SSN. In place of primary key, there is a null. So this cannot, this insert will definitely not work. So in the same way, this Mm, the primary key is already existing and the same primary key you are inserting then this also will not work in the same way here seven is uh, department number seven department number seven is already there uh, that's what uh, the department number seven is not existing only five four and one is there but how come we are inserting into the seven so then this insert will also not work and the last insert is a proper one and then it will be inserted only this value will be inserted that's what it says here any column whatever we have if there is a mistake anything it will not be inserted so in the same way possible violation for each operation delete may violate any re only referential integrity if the primary key value of the tuple being deleted is referenced from other tuples in the database can be remedied by several actions. We can say re restrict cascade set null, restrict option, reject uh, the deletion, cascade option, propagate the new, propagate the new primary key values into the foreign keys of the referencing tuples. Set null option, set to the foreign key of the referencing tuples to the null. One of the above options must be specified uh, during database design for each foreign key constraints. So we can see here the deletion is acceptable. So in this uh, case, delete the works on tuple with SSN. So this is what and P number. Delete the employee tuple with SSN and this. The deletion is not acceptable uh, because tuples in works on reference to this tuple. Hence, if the tuple is deleted, referential integrity violation will result. So delete the employee tuple with SSN the deletion will result in every worse referential integrity violation because the tuple involved is referenced by the tuple from the employee department works on and dependent. So that's how here the deletion will not be work takes place.
Next one is possible violation for each operation. So update may violate domain constraints and not null constraints on an attribute being modified. Any of the other constraints may also be violated depending on the attributes being updated. Updating the primary key similar to the delete followed by an insert need to specify similar options to the delete. Then updating a foreign key may violate referential integrity. Update an ordinary attribute, neither PK nor FK, can only violate domain constraints. Update operation. The update operation is used to change the value of one or more attributes in the tuple of the same relation R. It is necessary to specify a condition on the attribute of the relation to the, uh, to the select the tuple to be modified. Here are some of the examples. Update the salary. The employee tuple with the SSN to this is acceptable. In the same way, update the D number of the employee tuple with SSN to 1. That is also acceptable. Update the D number of the employee tuple with SSN to 7 because it is not acceptable because there is a, a referential integrity problem. So in the same way, update the SSN of the employee tuple with uh, this thing unaccepted because it violates primary key and uh, referential constraints. Next, we move on to a transaction concept. A database application program running against a relational database typically runs a series of transactions. So relational algebra over a relational algebra is the basic set of operations operations for the relational model. These operations enable a user to specify basic retrieval request or a queries. The result of an operation is a new relation, which may have been formed from one or more input relation. This property makes the uh, algebra are closed, all objects in the relation algebra are relations. A relation algebra overview, the algebra operation does produce new relation. These can be further manipulated using operations of the same algebra. A sequence of relation algebra operations form a relation algebra expression. The result of relation algebra expression is also a relation that represents the result of the database query. A relational algebra overview, a relational algebra consists of several groups of operations. Unary relation operation, select project rename. So sigma pi rho, the relational algebra operation from set theory, that is union intersection difference or minus and the Cartesian product. Then binary relation operator, join and division. Additional relational operation, outer join, outer union, aggregate functions, uh, these uh, compute summary of the information, for example, some count, average, minimum, and maximum. So that's what we can see here, relational algebra uh, overview. A relational algebra consists of several groups of operation, unary relation, relational operation, that is select, sigma, project, pi, rename is rho. So relational algebra operations from set theory, union, intersection, difference, Cartesian product, binary relation operation, join, Several uh, variations of join exist uh, exist and division. Additional relational operation, outer join, outer join, outer union, aggregate function. These compute summary of information for example, sum, count, average, minimum, and maximum. So then database state for the company, all examples discussed below refers to the company database shown here. That is employee, department, department location, project, works on, and dependent. Then we can see here uh, SSN, wherever we have a primary keys, SSN, SSN is a primary key in the employee table. Then there is a underline, which says that it is a primary key. So in the same way, department, here in the department table, D number is a primary key. So in the same way, department location, D number and D location is a primary key. Then project, P number and the D number are the uh, values in the project. In the same way, works on, that is ESSN and P number are the works on. Then dependent, ESSN dependent names are the dependents. So these, we can see here the referential integrity constraints displayed on the company relational database schema. Unary relation operations, that is select. The select operation denoted by sigma is used to select a subset of the tuples 
from a relation relation based on the relation condition the selection condition acts as a filter keeps only those tuples that satisfy the qualifying condition the tuples satisfy the conditions are selected whereas the other tuples are discarded example select the employee tables whose department number is 4 that is select department number equals to 4 in the employee select the employee tuples whose salary is greater than 30000 that is select salary greater than 30000 and this is the employee that is what is called as a unary relation operation that is select select operation that is r a b c and d alpha a is what a b c alpha alpha 1 7 the same way alpha beta 5 7 beta beta 12 3 beta beta 23 10 so then how this uh, operation should work we give sub condition that is select it should be where a should be equal to b and b should be in the values in the b should be greater than 5 so that's what here alpha alpha 17 beta beta 23 10 that's what is called as a select so i'll stop here we'll continue this in the next class Answer your uh, attendance. Today's date is fourteen. Okay, Asta, Abhinav, Aishwarya. Present, ma'am. Mama Asta present. Yeah, Mart. Ambrish. Yes, ma'am. Anu. Present, ma'am. Arbaz, Arjun, Ashok, present ma'am. Benita, present ma'am. Pargavi, present ma'am. Bhavishya, Chaitra, present ma'am. Dev Malay. Diksha, Deepika, present, ma'am. Deepika M B, present, ma'am. Murli Krishna, present, ma'am. Gangu Bai, present, ma'am. Udia, present, ma'am. Arshit, present, ma'am. Junjar, present, ma'am. Kavya. Present, ma'am. Kishor. Kishor. Lata. Yes, ma'am. Manisha. Present, ma'am. Anjunath. Yes, ma'am. Naina. Present, ma'am. Nilanjan. Pavitra. Present, ma'am. Nishan, present, ma'am. Ah? Huh? Nishan. Yeah. Maithili. Pavitra, present, ma'am. Yamat. Priyanka. Pavan. Akash. Present, ma'am. Rajeshwari. Present, ma'am. Rakesh. Ramya. Present, ma'am. Rashmi. Present, ma'am. Ravi. Yes, ma'am. Rizwan. Present, ma'am. Vishal. Present, ma'am. Savita. Yes, ma'am. Shruti. Sneha. Spurti. Present, ma'am. Srinidhi. Present, ma'am. Srinivas. Present, ma'am. Sunil, present, ma'am. Vaishnavi, present, ma'am. Vinny, present, ma'am. Ma'am, Arjun, ma'am. 